Good morning, everybody. I'm Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. Today we have a grooming video for you. We're going to share just a little bit about how we groom our bunnies when we use scissors only. Also, we're going to show you some tips and tricks for grooming their legs and grooming their bellies. So, enjoy! We have all of our tools together. Our nail clippers, our scissors, our scissor sharpener, our brush. We went ahead and used the high power blower and we blew out Libby's coat. Right now we're just kind of brushing out any of the little bit of hay chafe that is, or hay chaff, that is left in her coat. So we just do some brushing. She has quite a bit of hay under her bib. We just go through and do this, checking out the coat. She has a very, very thick very thick coat so you often don't find any of the debris going down to her skin because her coat is so thick we've got some hay on the back side this is just your typical first first steps to grooming we're going to trim her nails too You'll find the hay comes off in the brush. A little bit of wool too. We're not brushing deep as you can tell when you're brushing your rabbit. You're not gonna, we don't brush all the way to the skin. The high powered blower is what goes all the way to the skin. We use that to remove the dander. This is just getting the bigger pieces of hay out. Next leg to brush out. Next side. So right now with Libby, we're just trimming off some of the, you can notice she has quite a bit of soiling by her tail. For our summer rabbits, this is quite common. They get a lot of soiling. Libby is one of those rabbits that seems to just keep herself a little bit messy. When you're breeding rabbits, how clean they keep themselves is something to consider. Right now, we have our tail right here. We can feel our tail, and we are simply trimming off the soiled wool. You wanna know with your fingers where the tail is at all times because you don't wanna cut the tail. So we started at the base, and we are trimming up to the top of the tail with the underside first. There's an advantage to doing it that way. The rabbit is on all fours. It makes them more comfortable and um, you don't have to tip them on their stomach. I'm sorry, you don't have to tip them on their back to trim them this way. If you do have a rabbit that has a bit of soiled wool by their tail and they don't, and if you're trying to reduce the amount of times that you uh, put the bunny on its, put the bunny on its back. And you notice we're just kind of moving the tail to the side a little bit here. One of the other things that you can do, another tip, is you can separate the wool. In breeds like Germans who have a lot of wool, um, it can be a little bit more difficult to separate the wool to see down to the skin. So if you hold the wool, pull the wool with this hand, keep it taut, that helps the skin be uh, remain taut as well. And if you angle where you can angle the scissors a little bit down, make your cut, trim off the soiled wool. One of the things I'm doing when I'm trimming Libby like this is I'm using my arm to just hold her body, using this hand to hold the wool. If you have a bad back, this is not ideal position to be in. However, if your rabbit just will, if your rabbit just will not flip over on its back to trim the underside like this, this is an option. This is a way to do 
uh, the trimming by the feet, the trimming by the back. As so you start at the tail, get figure out where the tail is. You work your way, um, you work your way towards the foot, and you just make your little cuts, your little trims. Trim up the wool, trim off the wool for trimming. So you can see her foot is moved out to the side just a little bit. That's perfect. We've got some more soiled wool here. You'll see we worked our way this way. We're working our way up now, removing some of the removing some of the wool. It's all coming off very easy. We're not cutting the skin. There we go. That should be the last chunk with quite a bit of hay in it. One leg. That is almost done. We're just doing a little bit up her thigh here. And we're holding her with our arm. We've got some swelling kind of. You have to be careful when you're pulling the skin. Like if you notice, if I pull just a section of this wool, it'll pull the skin up too. That's when it's easier to make uh, nicks and cuts, unfortunately, in your bunny. So you wanna be careful with that. So we know her little her knee is right here. We're just going up, trimming the legs, separating out the prime. Okay, we trimmed up Libby, the tail end, and the back of her legs here. We only trimmed her up to here because when we keep this on, that's one of the tips. If your rabbit doesn't stay, when you flip your rabbit on its back, if it doesn't stay on its back, one of the things you can do is this is a bit easier to hold on to than just the skin of a rabbit. So we have our scissors here, nail trimmers. We're going to move out of the way, our brush out of the way. Libby needs the rest of her belly trimmed and so we're reaching underneath and she still has all this wool we're reaching underneath and we're going to use this part of our arm right here to help support and hold her so there's that piece of our arm right here it's got her under her belly trying to help her feel secure we're pinching her with our other arm and we gently we lay libby down not all rabbits will do this, but Libby will. Hi. So you can see where we've trimmed up earlier. You can see that um, we have a bit more to trim. And since we trimmed by the tail already, we have quite a good view of where we need to trim here. And we start at the top, we work our way down a little bit here. Not holding her, and we're not holding her leg uh, tightly, just a gentle guide. And then the inside of her leg is, is quite trimmed up. We just have this little bit here that my thumb was blocking. When we're doing the belly, we're going to use this hand if you're, if you're right-handed. If you're right-handed, your left hand is what holds the skin in place, holds the wool in place for you to trim. Trimmed her little elbow up. Thanks for watching our video. Give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe and the little bell button to get more of our grooming videos and all things Angora.